guys. I decided to do a little series. So I'm going to be showing about five different looks today using the same two unique products. So I just thought it might be helpful to you to see how to use some of our different eye makeup products in different ways. And so I chose two of my favorites that I'm going to feature today, but if you already have other products and you want me to show you different looks you can use with those, or if you're interested in different ones, um, this is just sort of a guide. So I just chose two of my favorite ones. So the first is going to be the Cream Shadow and Elegant. And then I'm going to show how to use that with our Addiction Palette number three, which is the one that has like the pinks and the purples in it, okay? And so I'm just going to do different looks with these. And so I can show you some things that you can add to these two products to complete your look as well, but I'm really just going to focus on those two items. That way, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, but you're looking to perk up the items in your makeup bag, um, this would be a great way is just to buy these two items. And so the first look I'm going to show you, I'm just going to use Elegant all over as a base, and then I'm going to use just one of the colors in the palette as a liner, okay? And so that would be a super easy look for you to do if it's like, if you, if you don't have a lot of time in the mornings to get ready or you're rushed. So it just takes a little bit of the cream shadow. I'm using the cream shadow brush. You absolutely don't have to use this. You can use another brush. This one we just recommend because the way the bristles are, they're packed very tightly together. And so this is a good one for applying the cream shadow. But again, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, um, you can absolutely apply this with another brush or even with your finger. Um, okay, so there it is. That was quick and easy. You can actually just use the cream shadow by itself too, which is beautiful. I I'm obsessed with the cream shadows, if you didn't notice. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm going to use our liner shader brush in order to do the liner. And so what you'll want to do is just to wet this tip so that the pigment will stay a little bit better. And so you can do that either by spraying our refreshed rose water on the tip if you have that already. If you don't have that, no problem. Just dip it in some water in your sink. Um, you don't have to wet it. You can also just, um, it would just mean that you would dip it in the pigment more. So just, just sprayed that on. I'm just making sure the tip is nice and wet. And then from our palette, I'm going to use, you could really use any of these as a liner, but I'm going to use Cheeky, which is, let's see, this one right there, the darkest purple. So I'm just going to get a little bit of it on my brush here. So just on the tip of it. So you can see that. And then I'm just going to line right above my lashes here. And so I love using pigments as liner instead of the actual pencil liners. I feel like I have a little bit more control just because I'm not very good with the pencil liners. Um, I also like it because you can just change up the colors. You can kind of soften the edge a little bit too. So let's see. There we go. So there's that look. So it just, it's a nice neutral, that I love elegant because it's a very nice neutral color. And then I just added that fun little pop of purple right above my lash line. And purple's a great color to use on people with green eyes and on brown eyed girls. And so just thought you guys would love this look. Um, what I would do to finish this off is to use my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. And I would just put that on my lashes and then I would be good to go. And so you can just top that if you have the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara or just with your regular mascara. So hope you guys like that look. I'll share some additional ones with you later today. Bye.